far, far away, deep in darkest Bavaria, there is a little village called Munchen Munchen. And a kindly old toy maker called Baron Egon Baconberger lives there in his castle, which is known as Castle Casserole. Baron Egon is rich, for he comes from a whole line of wealthy Baconbergers, and he owns the great castle and a lot of land. But he is not a happy man. Oh, dear, oh my, I'm so unhappy. I'm so miserable, oh, yes. I'm not happy at all. No, no, woe is me. Well, you get the idea. Now, this is most unlike the good Baron, because he is always a kindly, jolly man with a cheerful smile for everyone. Even for the local witch, whose name is Witch Hazel, she is, uh, well, more of her later. Baron Egon loves his work, and he generously gives many of his toys away to the children of Munchen Munchen. So why is the Baron so distressed? I'm in such trouble. It all began that night. I was working late into the night on four special teddy bears. They're my favorite. They're so soft and cuddly, and they make such good friends for the children. Anyway, it was very late, and the full moon was shining through the window. Suddenly, I started to feel very strange. Oh, I can't stand it. It's too dreadful. Poor Baron Egon Baconberger. He's very upset. And I'm not surprised after what happened to him. You see, unknown to the Baron, there is a strange spell or curse that was cast upon the Baconberger family many centuries ago. And because of that, a strange thing happened to Baron Egon. The full moon shining upon him made his hair grow long and wild. His nose turned into a long snout. He grew sharp white teeth and pointy black claws. Oh dear, oh my! I turned into a werewolf, didn't I? It's so embarrassing. But it's worse. When I became a werewolf, the four cute little teddy bears that I'd been working on also changed. The moon shone upon them. And they changed from ordinary bears into werebears. And I don't know where on earth they are. They've escaped, and I don't know where to start looking for them. My nephew, Hammond Baconberger, and good old Herman Hamburger from the toy shop just think I'm eccentric. But if anyone discovers my werebears, it will bring shame upon the whole Baconberger family. And my terrible secret will be out. Everybody will know that I am a werewolf. If only those bears hadn't escaped. Yes, the Baron is in a fix, all right. He worries all day that someone will find the bears and reveal his secret. And at night, when he finally gets to sleep, he dreams of what might happen. <laughs> there goes the Baron. Shame your feet again today, have you, Baron? My, what pointy ears you have. Oh, 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 time to get up. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was a terrible dream. Baron Egon Baconberger sits down for breakfast after his sleepless night, and he looks out of the window at the great forest of Munchen Luncheon. Even on my own land, it would take me a year to find them. The forest is so large and so deep, and very, very dark sometimes. I think I'm going to have to ask somebody to help me. Somebody with magic powers. But who? Who? Whilst the Baron thinks about the problem, a few miles away, deep in the forest, four small shapes are sitting under a tall tree. Yes, it's the Baron's four bears. Grizzler, Howler, Gums and Fang. And they're hopelessly lost. They've been trying for ages to get back to Castle Casserole, but they're just going round in circles. <laughs> I'm fed up. We'll never find our way home. It's all your fault for leading us into this forest, Howler. No, oh, stop moaning, Grizzler. We'll find out how to get to the castle somehow. But the harder they try, the further away they get. The Baron had better act quickly before they go any further. Oh, yeah, perhaps in this copy of Witch Witch, I will find the person I'm looking for. Mm, it's 
seems that the only person in Munchen Luncheon who could help me is that sneaky old witch Hazel. Nobody has a good word for her, but there's no one else. I shall have to try her. So Baron Egon sets off along the forest path to where witch Hazel and her one-eyed owl called Squint live in a strange old gypsy caravan. He's hoping that the witch will help him find Howler, Gums, Fang and Grizzler. But I wonder whether she can be trusted. <laughs> this seaweed and firelighter soup is coming along nicely. <laughs> Ooh, it looks delicious. Hey, look, here comes that Baron Egon Bacon Burger. Mm, so it is. I wonder what the old fool wants. Good morning, Witch Hazel. Sure, what is that really dreadful smell? Seaweed and firelighter soup. Oh, <laughs> yes, very nice. Uh, well, Witch Hazel, I have a problem, and I'd like you to help me out. I'll pay you well, of course. Of course. <laughs> what is your problem, Baron? Well, uh, I've been working on uh, a sort of secret project, you see. Uh, four enchanted teddy bears. They bob and talk and uh, they think. Uh, but now Howler comes, Grizzler and Fang have escaped. And I need to get them back before someone else sees them. No strange names for a bunch of teddy bears, aren't they? Special teddies, and I wouldn't like them to get into the wrong hands if you see what I mean. Secret project, eh? <laughs> well, Baron, you seem very anxious to get them back, so I'll help you. <laughs> but it will cost you dearly. Oh dear. Horrible witch Hazel knows the Baron is in trouble and she's taking advantage. It was very wise of the Baron not to tell her the whole story about how they became werebears or that he becomes a werewolf. For me to find those bears, it will cost you all your riches. Castle Casserole, your <laughs> Everything you own! <laughs> Everything? This contract, which I have magically produced out of thin air, will seal the deal. What do you say, Baron? No, 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 Baron Egon. Don't sign that contract. Tear it up and go home. You can't trust Witch Hazel. Don't sign it. <laughs> Very well. I'll sign it. I'd rather live in a small cottage with my bears as a little family than have things the way they are. Right. Come back at sunset, Baron, and bring a sack full of old toy parts. And I'll show the answer to your problems. <laughs> so the Baron heads for home and gets the sack of spare toy parts from his workshop. He has no idea why that horrible witch Hazel wants them, but you can be sure she is up to no good. And as the sun goes down over the Munchen Luncheon Mountains, the good Baron makes his way back to the caravan in the forest to keep his appointment with witch Hazel. Did you bring the stuff? <laughs> good! Tip it in here! <laughs> it smells even worse! What in it? Oh, the usual stuff! That's Red newt toads, dragon's tongue, powdered horn of unicorn. <laughs> Good. It's coming to the boil. Stand back, Baron, and the solution to your predicament will arise from the cauldron. <laughs> And before the horrified Baron's eyes, the slime in the witch's cauldron starts to glow green. And 
four dark, menacing forms begin to take shape below the surface. They look like ugly, misshapen teddy bears, more hideous and frightening than any werewolf or werebear. Look, now they're climbing out of the cauldron, and poor Baron Egon's hair is standing straight up with fright. the Baron is in even deeper trouble. If those dreadful terror Teds find his werebears, he'll lose everything he owns. <laughs> this is terrible. Vich Hazel has tricked me. Oh, poor Gums, Howler, Bang, and Grizzler. I can't bear to think of what Witch Hazel's terror Teds might do to them. Now I must spend all my time looking for them myself. Otherwise, I lose all my possessions to Witch Hazel as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dearie, dearie me. What will happen to the werebears when the witch sets Snapper, Grunt, Chomp, and Munch loose? Those terror Teds are fierce, but they're also pretty stupid. Turn over the tape to hear what happens when your terror Ted does battle with one of the werebears. Yeah. 